This, uh, this is a, uh, a really popular uh, application among our viewers and readers. Uh, this is what they need. They're looking for people. They don't have the people. What can we possibly do? And this is all leading into uh, your guys' business plan, really. Exactly. I mean, this is a really good example, as we talked about, the big trends we see on having much more standardized solutions. This is a standardized solution for attending press breaks across multiple brands. And uh, it's a perfect fit. There's a standardized unit that has the cobot, its controls, and an interface cabinet so you can interface to multiple machines. Okay. And, uh, and the guys can give you a fixed price. They know exactly what it takes to interface it. They exactly know what it takes to operate it. Um, and today, it's spending for holder for iPhones. It's been producing pretty much around 400 holders a day. Just to show you how sort of accessible it actually is to automate these kind of applications these days. Right? Because the, pretty much the standardized model is what you need, right? You'll have the interface layers, you can have different sort of blank holders, um, and of course you can have different uh, output uh, assemblies depending on your needs. So uh, that's a really good example of how producing parts like this can be automated. Um, and, and what really resonates well with our customers, it's not a development project. It's actually been years invested in the software, in integration, and in really understanding the needs of tending press breaks, right? So, uh, so you can get a fixed price for it. You know exactly how long time it takes. It could be deployed in a week, right? And all the interfacing is well known. It's interfaced with the robot. It's actually kind of a complicated task. It is. It doesn't fairly, seem like it, but it no, is. It yeah. is a complicated task, right? The yeah. parts move around, up and down. There's different techniques to control the cobot. You can either actually be following the part as it bends, oh, yeah. or you can yeah. sort of let it go as we're doing in this process. All yeah. depends on the particular requirements of, uh, of the given process. But it looks yeah. like with the suction cup end effector, it looks like uh, it knows the angle to expect. Yes, right. It's it does. at the same angle as the surface yep. already. It exactly. It tracks and follows. And this is like the eighth generation tool uh, developed for exactly this purpose of tending yeah. press brakes, like that has a combination of suction cup and a sort of a friction gripper to grab the part when you're done. Yeah. So, it's, uh, yep. yeah. so let's say I am a, uh, it, it doesn't matter what size the press brake is, right? Nope. It, it could be a 12 yes. foot. Yep. As long as it's matter. within the payload capacity of the cobot. Yeah. Even this team is very excited about how you are 20, as they're also getting a lot of requests for like thicker, even like half inch steel yeah. parts and so on, yeah. which easily becomes a bit borderline to the payload capacity of the UR10. Yeah. Your UR10 today, we recently upgraded it so it can carry 12 and a half kilo. So, uh, but obviously, quickly some parts exceed that. So, uh, yeah. so even this is also going to be a sweet spot application area for our UR20. But up, there's so many parts still you can handle, like smaller sheet metal parts like this, where our 10 kilo cobot is uh, absolutely adequate. But I mean, that this is <clears throat> that's a fair bit of fabricating right there. Yep. In the in the smaller gauge and yeah. Yes, exactly. And this is really where sort of going deep in the verticals matters, where you have we have partners that have this deep expertise that really been investing time, energy to sort of really figuring out all the complications, really how to interface the different types of machines, how to make it super easy to set up and program even for the manufacturers themselves. And so uh, let's say I'm a fabricator and I, I come to UR and I say, gee, I really need to, I'm gonna buy three of these. Yeah. Uh, do you guys already have the software that reflects what this is doing here, or? Yep. Yes, I mean, okay. and that's really one of the big differences to our IMTS booth today. There's nothing on this booth you cannot go and buy today. Okay. You will get a price today in your hand. You can yeah. ship wow. a, give a okay. purchase order to these guys. This is not a demonstration. This is a thing you can actually buy. Really amazing. Yeah. Uh, because back to our initial conversation, right, that's really what the industry needs. Yeah. We need to make it way more simple to get access to automation solutions. We uh, need to come to a place where things are not tech demos and you can't really get an actual right. solution anyway. This is all stuff that you can actually buy there's, today. There's no slideware. Nothing, <laughs> right? Because that's, uh, that's not what we're here for, right? We're really here to help manufacturers exactly. get robots. Exactly. That is excellent. Yeah. Yeah. All right.